Hello everyone, welcome to Z Interactive and I'm Zishan Shah. So today we will start with Tag Tool. Now what is a Tag Tool inside Marvelous Designer? Tag Tool actually helps to hold the two different garments together or hold any garment or part of it on the, the avatar. Now in real life fashion design industry to tag is to sew quick temporary stitches that will later be removed. Also, tacking is used for a variety of reasons, such as holding a seam in place until it is sewn properly or transferring pattern markings onto the garments. Then there is tailor tacks. The, uh, the tailor tack are basically loose looped stitch which is cut on the fabric as an indication as to where to stitch finally. So let's see how in Marvelous Designer the tack tool works. So here I have my model. Now what I want is to see how it will look like, this t-shirt will look like on him if it is slim fit. Right now it is loose fit, but I want to see how it will look like if it is slim fit. So what I can do, let's turn off the simulation right now. And here on the top, we will see the attack, uh, like our tag tool. Uh, here it is, it's like a pen. So I will take the tack tool from here and then I will choose this tack. Now it requires a first point to pin like uh, maybe this one and the second point to pin maybe here and it just needs two and as soon as I will do it it will start synchronizing it and once it is done I can start simulating and as soon as I will do that these two points will pin together and I will be able to see how my fitting of like, like how this t-shirt will look if it is slim fit. Okay. Now the one that I used here is basically the normal tack tool. Let's turn it off. And the one that I've used here, where it's gone. Okay, here it is. So the one I've used is the normal tack tool. Now to edit it or to remove it, I can go to the edit tack tool, select the one that I applied, I can press delete on it. That's all. Simulate again and things will go back to normal. Now, the other one that we have here is, let's turn it off for now, is the tack on avatar. Now tack on avatar will allow me to tack from my uh, garment okay to any part of the avatar like suppose if I want to see how it will look like if it is more longer or stretched long so what I can do I can click on my garment first and then I will choose any part of my avatar like suppose this thigh part okay and maybe I can add one more you can add as many more you want and here as well Okay, and now maybe at the back. Okay, same thing, the one that we were using before. Okay, the tag, you can do the same thing. You can make uh, many tags, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here, one here. So each needs two. Okay, so you can use as many you want. Now if I will simulate it, so just notice what will happen. The one that I have tagged will be connected to each other. Okay. You got the idea. So this is what the reason of it is. Just to show you diff if you want just to see how it will look like. Those kind of things here. Okay. And then if you don't want, edit. Remove them. The, uh, if, you don't, if you don't want it. So that simple. And let's see. We have a few more types of it. Let's re-simulate it. So it goes back to normal. Okay, now what do we have here next is edit line tag. Now what is the line tag? These are the point tags like pins, but these are line, these are just line. Okay, so I have edit tag, tag, tag on avatar. Then I have edit line tag, line tag, line tag on avatar. Okay, same uh, three, same three, but works with the line. So I don't want to edit, I want to create first line tag. Okay, this like this is for uh, like garment to garment. Okay, not garment to avatar. 
So this is garment to garment. Suppose I will create a line here. Okay, something like here. Okay. And press enter. Or I can, sorry, double click. Oh, click here one uh, once, double click it here. Then click here one uh, once and double click it here. Oops. Let me undo that. Clear. Double click, click, double click. Okay. Now, perfect. Now, what will happen if I will uh, simulate it? These two lines will be connected, like kind of pinned to each other. Okay. Just notice. And here we go. Okay. So that's what the line tag do. And now we can see clearly how it will look like if it is slim fit. So you can pull it down to whatever you want, something like this. And temporarily you can join two clothes or maybe because it's like this is basically 3D. So you don't have to be uh, like too much in reality. So maybe you can join two garments together permanently. Okay. If you don't want to stitch them, you can use the tack, uh, tack tacking. Okay. So that's one thing. And now if I will go back to edit tack line. I can remove the lines that I have created. Okay. And then simulate it back. So it goes back to normal. So similarly, I have here the line tag tool on the avatar. So first I have to create a uh, line on my garment post here double click and now on any part of my avatar like suppose here and then double click double click to end it and now if I will simulate it so this line and this line will connect to each other and you can see there is a dash line which shows a where of where it's going to connect okay and this is how you can see how this can be done Sometimes you want to join these together, okay, uh, to create these kind of effects, okay, if you want a fallen neck, maybe this like sort of thing, like tacking you can do, not uh, too aggressive, but uh, like a normal, uh, like in a normal form, with a normal strength, okay, you can delete with the edit tool, okay, and re-simulate it, so it goes back to normal. So I hope you, uh, have liked this stacking tool okay so just notice that when i forced it to fall on the other side you can you can see like there is a uh, like a sort of a uh, more inclination in this part of the shoulder okay so i have to pull this side so it can balance out So if you have liked uh, my videos and have not subscribed to my channel yet, so please do it and hit the bell icon. To support my channel, please watch my videos online and do not download them. Otherwise, I won't get any benefit out of it and which will demotivate me to make further videos. So please champion my channel and like them if you find them useful. So take care, guys. Stay safe, stay healthy and keep learning on Z Interactive, your own training institute.